Can I just say there, right here and now, Jimmy, you're a pain in my ass sometimes, but I love you. Thank you very much to be with us. Oh, thank you for having me. So we have a couple of questions regarding some of the past in the 80s with mm. uh, Maiden and potentially some uh, good memories on tour with KK, there you are. Yes, we did, but uh, apparently I, I pissed Kenny off. Um, I don't even remember saying this, but apparently I said that uh, oh, Jesus Christ, a bunch of old men, we're going to blow them away, which does sound like me, let's be honest, it does. But the thing is, I don't remember saying it, and me and Ken didn't speak for fucking years until recently on the KK Priest tour, so we sort of buried the hatchet, and he's a, he's a fucking lovely man, and he's, he's an awesome guitar player, and I have so much respect for him, so that was kind of cool, but like on the Priest tour, it was fucking great anyway, so... How is it like to be um, back with KK uh, on a bill for the last few months? A few months? Last, uh, it's only been a week. And we done um, and we done um, the steel mill with Ken a couple of months back, which was the first time we actually met up together again after all these years. It was fucking great. The band are phenomenal. Not my band. I'm talking about. Well, they're pretty good too. But um, but KK and that is great. I mean, yeah, come on, you can't go wrong with Tim on bass. And Tony Newton is a good old mate of ours from East London as well. So we all know each other. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's really good. And I've I've enjoyed it because. I've come out of sort of semi-retirement. I didn't retire, but I had to stop for eight years. So to come on this, fuck yes, man. It's fucking great, yeah. What about some new music? Uh, we have the new Warhorse album coming out next year. Um, we are signed to uh, Brave Words' new label. We was, their, we was their first signing. So we've done that, that comes out next year. I'm writing with my, my writing partner in, in Mexico. Marco um, Alvaro, Marco Benjamin Alvaro, I should say. We've been writing a few tracks here and there. Um, I've got them with me, and I'm going into rehab um, for physio and all that next next in a couple of weeks' time. So I'll, I'll be doing most of the writing I've got finished off there, and then we're, we're just going to take our time with that. So it's, yeah, it's coming on. Movies coming out soon as well, which is good. Yes, I would like to talk about this documentary, basically. So can you tell us about it? Yeah, I don't know much about it, really. I'd, all I do is I just turn up and do it. I'm a little bit upset because I was hoping I'd be up, up on my feet by then. But it's not happened. But So you, you get this sort of documentary, but it's sort of the highs and lows of like being in a wheelchair and struggling and... Since all this happened to me, I suffer from really severe PTSD, and it's not good. You know, it it changes your whole personality. You know, sometimes you're you're happy-go-lucky. Other times, I'm screaming, I want to kill people. You know, and it's not fucking good. And that's not me. I'm only I'm only a happy-go-lucky person until somebody pisses me off. Then I'll beat you up. But but you know, so yeah, it's been a bit difficult. But uh, Wes Zuchowski has done a fucking amazing job. He's still mixing it down at the moment, so. That'll be out very soon. God help me. <laughs> Any plan on potentially touring uh, Canada or US? Yes, we're trying for next year. Yeah. We are trying for next year. Um, trying to get it all together, which I would love to do. Um, I love Canada. I, I better not say too much because, you know, if it was a mixture of like, if, if I had to go to America or to Canada, I'd go to Canada. Because it's got the greatest part of England and the best part of America all rolled into one, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's funny. I love, I love the United States. I've lived there for many, many years. But I can't deal with the bullshit, like the bureaucracy crap and all that stuff, and, and all the old fuckers who have ruined America for the young people, so. Okay, that's my political right now, but. Last one for you, uh, anything you have to say uh, to your fans? Yes, you've been fucking amazing, everybody, all over the world. I mean, we've just done this massive tour of Brazil, Last year, just before Christmas, um, we played more shows in Brazil than anybody's ever played in their any, anywhere. We did about 46 shows. We're going back 48 soon, but that's there in South America and in Canada. We've been, everybody's been helping me because I ran out of money. When I got sick, I had to get Medivax and all my fucking insurance went and everybody. So the people who helped me get the rest of the operation finished, or operations, 
has been the crowdfund, which uh, it comes from Canada, comes from England, comes from everywhere. We almost got it finished, and then Iron Maiden helped out as well, which is fucking awesome. So I want to say to all the fans who do come to the shows, thank you for accepting me as I am in the wheelchair at the moment, but thank you for everything you've done for me. It's fucking awesome. I mean, come on. How blessed am I? This is amazing. You know, and it's not just the fans in Canada, it's the fans everywhere. They've been fucking amazing. And it gave me my whole faith back in human nature. Because most people are fucking crap when they hit. Yeah. So that's it, really. That's all good. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And Jim, you fucker, speak to you soon. <laughs>